Hey guys, a couple weeks ago, I told you that I was going to try making homemade hummus. And um, I haven't done it yet because I just haven't done it yet. But I'm going to try doing it today. The only issue is I won't be able to do a taste test on this video or even tell you how it's going to taste because Jeff and I like our hummus cold. So I'm going to have to make it now and then try it later. There is a possibility that I can get Jeff to try it once he gets home from work and um, it'll be cold enough probably by then. I will see if he wants to do it on camera or not. If not, I'll just tell you what we thought. But I'm going to get the camera down here and show you how I'm doing it. Now, there are recipes that you can make it without tahini. Um, I don't have tahini, but I do know what it is. It is just simply sesame seeds ground up into a paste with a little bit of olive or um, coconut or maybe um, avocado oil. I do have some sesame seeds and I could make it, but I've decided that I'm going to try it without the tahini first and then we'll see if we want to do it the other way later. Like, you know, tweak it, play around with it, see what happens. This is all just an experiment at this point so um i have a few things that i'm going to get roasting in the oven i'm going to move the camera so you can see that and show you how i'm doing that so i'll be right back like in a second okay so i've got my oven preheating to 400 i'm putting gloves on because i'm about to cut up a jalapeno now this jalapeno is uh, a little wrinkly but that's all right not a problem i'm gonna do that last though so i'm gonna go ahead and get some garlic ready i'm not gonna chop this up or anything right now i'm just going to um roast it whole pretty much whole i'm gonna cut off the little end of it and roast it that off of it and usually whenever we have um, hummus it has a pretty good bit of garlic in it so I'm putting well it's really it's like one big clove and two tiny ones so pretty much two cloves of garlic is what I would say like I said I don't know how this is gonna work I don't know how this is gonna be it's just an experiment. We're going to see if we like it or not. If we hate it, you know, we haven't lost much. It's not that big of a deal. But if we love it, we'll know. Oh, I was going to put a little olive oil in there. Give me the olive oil. Because the olive oil I'm going to actually use in the end too, I hope. I'm hoping that it works out the way I want it to. And then I'm going to take this small onion and I'm going to take half of it and um, put it in there. But I'm not going to leave it like this whole thing here. that put it in there and um, the reason why I'm going ahead and cutting this is because we want the flavor oh my goodness that onion is some kind of strong I want the flavor of the pepper but I don't want all that heat so I want to take the seeds out oh my goodness that thing is some kind of strong that onion is that means it's gonna be tasty right that's what I've always heard I don't know if it's true or not but I'm taking the veins out and the seeds out as much as I can and I'm just gonna put that in there like that this over into the sink 
I might need to go wipe my eyeballs. <laughs> and then I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on this. I don't know why I want to do that, but I do. Just a tiny bit of salt. That was just a tiny pinch. And then a little black pepper. That wasn't even a quarter of a teaspoon of each. It wasn't even an eighth of a teaspoon of each. All right, I'm gonna kind of just fold this over. Not a tight seal. And I'm gonna let it roast, I don't know how long, 20, 30 minutes maybe? I don't know. This is an experiment, remember? Y'all are just along for the crazy. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and I'm gonna take this out and hopefully I didn't ruin it. It smells really good. I hear it cooking up in there. So I'm gonna have to be super careful. Well, maybe it's not roasted as much as I want. The refrigerator making a weird noise. Let's see how soft. Oh, those are all right. Those are okay. It's not maybe as much as I wanted in the beginning, but what I'm going to do is kind of separate it, and this has got to cool off anyway, but I'm going to cover it right back up with this foil and let it cool off in this pan, and it'll still cook some while it's in there. So I'm going to bring y'all back whenever that cools off, but I want to show you some more stuff before I get going with that. Um, the reason why I am confident with this flavor being okay without using the tahini paste is because I have some sesame oil and I'm going to use that and it'll give it that sesame flavor and I'm going to be using my little Farberware thing um, to make this so we're going to see if that's going to work too. I'll put that back on there so I don't accidentally bump that handle but I think I have all my stuff out. I've washed my can and I'm gonna, um, the can of chickpeas, I'm gonna drain this. But I've looked at a lot of recipes. A lot of them say to you, let me put it up here so you don't see me. I'm tired of using, like, I'm tired of talking to y'all, looking at uh, that. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm saying. Today's been one of those weird days. <laughs> anyway, um, what was I saying? Can y'all tell me? I've looked at a lot of recipes. And I didn't really find one that I wanted to use. A lot of them were like saying to use water. Some of them said to use cumin or cumin, however you say it. And we don't really love cumin a lot. So I think I'm going to put just a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of that in there. But do other seasonings. I was thinking about using the Everything Bagel seasoning because it has sesame seeds in it, but I don't know how that'll be either. Either. Blah, 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 blah. Words are not my friends. But yeah, I gotta figure this out a little bit more before I actually do this because I'm not sure what seasoning I'm gonna use yet. Let me know. Have you ever made a recipe and we're not sure how to proceed once you got started because you were just making it up as you went along. That's me today. That's me lots of times. But I'll have it figured out by the time I come back to you. And I don't know what else I'm doing today. I have some clothes that I need to fold, but I think since it's just like a load, I'm gonna wait until tomorrow after I wash a load of clothes and that way I can just fold the two loads together and just do that. I just feel like it will be less annoying. I don't know how that even makes sense, but it does somewhere in my brain. <laughs> I'm also editing videos. I have several of those to do. I have four actually. Well, I have two more to edit. I have two that is uploading right now that I've already edited, but I have two more to edit and make thumbnails for and all that stuff. And I'm busy at the desk a lot today, and I feel like this is going to be one of those videos that's not much. I feel like a lot of my videos have been that way lately, but y'all hadn't fussed at me, so I think it's okay. <laughs> but I do want to 
do this because it was like a fun thing that I thought to do. And we're, I'm not cooking supper tonight because, I mean, I am, but I'm not. We're having hot dogs. And also, I wanted to tell y'all, we were supposed to cook chili yesterday. I was supposed to cook chili. But, Noah and I got invited out to dinner. So, we decided to do that instead. So, that's why you didn't see me cook chili. And today, you won't see me cook either because we're just doing hot dogs on the grill. So, um, it's been an odd week. Very odd. But it's been a good week. Getting things done. Just not all of it's on camera. I've also been paying bills today. That's not fun. They take all my money. But, <laughs> or our money. It's not just mine. But, anyway. I'll be back once this cools off. And we're going to see how this hummus thing goes. Maybe I can get Noah to taste it too. But I don't know. He won't do it on camera. But he might try it later. I'll be back. Okay, so I have the can of the uh, chickpeas in here. It's drained and rinsed. And I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of this everything bagel seasoning. I got it from, what's that place? Ollie's? Yeah. I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to put a couple of grinds of black pepper in it. Well, maybe, I don't know, however many that was, five or six. And a little bit of pink sea salt. Put a little four grinds in there. Maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, not much. I don't want to put too much of anything because I don't know how it's going to turn out. And then I'm going to put in this onion and the garlic and the peppers. That may be too much. We'll see. Hopefully not. smells good and um a little bit of that oil is coming out not a lot there's not a lot left it seems sit that there so i can put my spoon on it and i'm gonna put in um I think I'll just put in a half a teaspoon of this sesame oil. You don't want too much of this stuff. And then I'm just going to use my little blender and I'm going to blend it up. But I'm not going to do that on camera because it's going to be really loud. Most likely. What do I do with my top? There it is. Or it's my bottom, my top, my something. I'm going to put that on there. And then I'll just blend it up and I'll be right back. Okay, a half a teaspoon was not enough oil, but I'm going to get some olive oil and put in there. Because I do not want a bunch of flavor of the tahini, of the sesame oil in there. So I'm going to put in half of a teaspoon of this just to see how that works out. Because it needs liquid in here. And I may have to put some water like it, you know, was saying in the other recipes, but we'll see how that goes. This is not on properly. There we go. But it was not mixing properly, so we'll try that again. Okay, I did add three teaspoons of water, and it's all mixed together. I was thinking about leaving it in this, but that's going to be kind of hard to dip. So, I don't know if this is going to be big enough, but we're going to see if we can put it in this. I think it will be. Maybe. It smells good. If nothing else, it smells good. Like I said, I've never done this before. Oh, there's a little, there's a chunk of pepper. There might be a couple of chickpeas in there that's still a little bit chunky, but I thought I got all of them done. I don't really like this blender thing. I never have, but it's the only one I have, and y'all know me. I don't usually go buy another one. <laughs> if this one, well, I do have a food processor and a big blender, but I mean a little one, so I don't really need another one. So, 
I haven't went and gotten another one. All right, so wipe that off a little bit. I don't know if I want to taste it. The situation is, okay, I accidentally cut the thing off, turned it off, cut it off, whatever. I don't really want to taste it because it's not cold. And it's not going to taste exactly like normal, like, you know, it should when it's not cold. But I do need to know if the flavors are good, you know. I need to know if it needs more seasoning or something like that. So, it looks like baby food. It always looks like baby food. So, I'm going to taste a little bit. I might have put too much pepper. It's good, but it's spicy. <laughs> it's spicy. Just a little bit. Mm hmm. It's spicy. I might have made a mistake. I may not be able to eat any of it, but it does taste good. <laughs> I'm going to let Noah try it, and I'll let y'all know what he thinks if he wants to try it. But. It tastes good. It's just spicy. <laughs> just a little bit spicy. But I'm going to put a lid on it and put it in the refrigerator after I ask Noah if he wants to try it. And I will come back and let you know if he likes it or not, if he tries it. But either way, I'll be back.
somebody used my vacuum and didn't plug it back up. But I unplugged it. I wonder if my battery's going bad. I mean, it's not that old. It's like a couple years old. But I can't finish the house now because it won't work. And I don't want to do the shop back because that hurts my back. I'm tempted to try not in here. I mean, this is okay. I got almost all of this room. And I wasn't even doing the deep vacuum. I wasn't even doing the edges. But I'm tempted to try my little other vacuum mop on those other two rugs because they're outdoor rugs anyway. I wonder if it'll work. We'll see. these are like indoor outdoor rugs so they're not like carpet so they don't like soak up water the same in fact this is like some kind of plasticky kind of stuff I really don't know what it is but I put the box fan on this rug this one <laughs> whenever I was over there doing that one and this one was already dry by the time that I got finished with that one like because I walked all over in bare feet and it's dry and so now I've got the box fan on that one. I don't have it on high, but I've got it on like medium, and it's doing that. And um, I know y'all probably saw me pick up Delilah. She is a very skittish dog, no matter what. Um, but she's even more skittish whenever you get close to her with the vacuum, which all of our animals are. It's completely understandable. Most any animal is like that. But I just pick her up and love on her, and she's good. 
she didn't get she what she normally would do was just get up and go somewhere else she's she wasn't like scared but she would just like okay I'm vacating the premises <laughs> so I just wanted to let you know that but the floors are kind of clean <laughs> I guess they're clean. they're vacuumed I didn't pick up a lot of stuff like normal and I wanted to do the rest of the house like I know I don't usually record like the hallway in Noah's room which Noah normally does his own room but I don't usually record the rest of it but I, I do record the kitchen but after I did this part my back is acting kind of crazy lately y'all know that I have back issues and I didn't want to push too far because I start started feeling it more so I'll just do it tomorrow give my vacuum and my vacuum mop time to uh, charge again which my vacuum I don't know why that it wasn't fully charged because I unplugged it unless it just wasn't plugged all the way up but whenever I plugged it up this time I made sure the lights were because there's like little blue lights or one of them has blue lights on it anyway I made sure the lights were doing their thing <laughs> for both of them so I don't have to vacuum this again tomorrow though but it'll be fine but I do want to vacuum mop in there and I've got to do laundry tomorrow. I gotta do the sheets and towels because Friday's my sheet and towel day and I always have one more load of clothes on Fridays as well. So um, like I said, I will not be cooking dinner with you guys tomorrow tonight, but I won't be tomorrow night either. I know that I had said that I bought that pasta for a dinner we're having this week, but I totally forgot that we have one in the freezer and I want to go ahead and use it so I'll be using it tomorrow for our dinner and I will link the recipe because it's a recipe that Jeff and I came up with I'll link that for you guys again tomorrow too um, it's that pasta bake with the mushrooms and olives and all kinds of yummies uh, it was really good <laughs> but I mean I'll show it to y'all again probably but I won't be cooking it with you I really don't know what I'm gonna be doing with you guys tomorrow other than folding clothes and I will be stripping the sheets that are on the bed and washing them and putting the new ones on so I'll probably do that with y'all I don't really know what else I know that I haven't been cooking as much with you guys lately but in the summer I don't think any of us cook as much it's like we uh, we want to eat sandwiches or a lot of times I will make like a meal that will last more than one day so that I don't have to heat the house up because it takes a lot to get it cooled back down and that's one reason why I haven't been baking breads or anything like that because y'all Alabama's hot we all know that and that's okay we all have our certain ways we do things but um i'm thinking that y'all are okay with what i've been doing you're still hanging out with me um i as i said i won't be cooking dinner with you guys tonight but i did want to read a little bit more about some of the things heloise has been teaching um in her thing so no it was laughing at something um There's one thing in here that, that I wanted to read to y'all. I'm not going to read it word for word. I'm not going to read it all. But anyway, it's uh, be an instant success. It says, a well-known plush restaurant, which is famous for its coffee, but won't let me use its name, uses instant coffee. It's unbelievable to me, but the boss swears it's so. The owner says it's not the instant coffee that tastes so different, but the way people make it. Here is his secret. So I wanted to know how to make instant coffee because, you know, a lot of us who prep, we have instant coffee as one of our preps. I also have instant coffee because there's different recipes for baking that I use it in. But this is the way you are supposed to be able to make instant coffee taste better. And y'all know if you camp, or like going camping and stuff, instant coffee is a great thing to have. So this is what you do. You bring water to a boil. Then put the instant coffee in the water. Let the water come to a boil again until it bubbles, until bubbles come to the top. Immediately turn it off. If you have an electric like me, you just take it off. 
let coffee sit a minute or two and then pour it into the cups. The second boiling is the secret, the owner says. He also says the customer never asks if the restaurant's coffee is instant or not. They just want a second cup. I never knew that. I, I never knew. Um, but she used a stainless steel pan and she says she thinks that might have helped too. But do any of you, have you any of you ever done that? Have you boiled the water and then put the coffee in and then boiled it again? I want to test it sometime. Not right now, but I want to test it sometime. I don't know when. Um, and she talks about using pepper mills and um, how that she loves those and things, or she really likes them, you know. I did not use a pepper mill for years. I didn't even know what one was, but whenever I did start using a pepper mill, and y'all know I still have already ground pepper, but when I started using a pepper mill, I did taste a difference in the pepper, and I really like that. Um, what doing? Maggie has come to see me. Let's see. Cheaper than a churn. I was talking about making buttermilk. Okay. But I just, I thought that, that, that coffee thing was a good thing. And here's another one um, about leftover baked potatoes. Now, we don't usually have leftover baked potatoes, but every once in a while we do. And they don't taste the same. We know that. But this is rebaking baked potatoes. Leftover baked potatoes may be reheated by dipping them in hot water and baking again in a moderate oven. Now, moderate is about 350 from what I understand. We all know that these old books like this, they don't say the numbers a lot of the time. It says, when you're bake, making potato salad and you don't and don't like to eat the onions, but like the flavor into, of them, this is a total different thing, but you dip it in water. Don't like the flavor of them, cut one big onion in force, place in the potato salad, and let it sit a while. Before serving the salad, remove the onion. Some people also boil an onion in the water in which they are boiling potatoes. The potato will absorb some of the flavor this way too. Okay, well, if you put the onion into the water while it's boiling, it's going to cook the onion. That's not going to taste the same. Myself, I like onion in potato salad, but I don't like it cut up really huge. So I would cut it up small. But I do have family members that do not like onion, but they like the onion taste. It's like a texture thing. So that's a good thing to know. Um, let's see. I don't know if there's anything else. Here's another one about potatoes. When baking potatoes, I find a wonderful idea to put each potato in one of the holes in a muffin tin. The tin makes it easy to remove the potatoes from the oven and keeps them from rolling around or dropping through the racks of the oven. I thought that was a good idea. It's even got a picture. Look at them. They're so happy in there. <laughs> Why are you growling? She stopped. I guess somebody bugged her. It says beans. It's not like beans. Beans must be washed. And I have found that all those little so-called rocks in beans aren't rocks at all, but little pieces of dirt. So now I put the beans in my flour sifter and turn on the faucet and let the water run. This washes the beans and dissolves those little hard pieces of dirt at the same time. Sure beets picking beans the old-fashioned way. Now, I don't really find rocks or the dirt in beans now very much. Every once in a while I do. The reason why I pick through the beans is because there's sometimes a bad bean or one that's just ugly and I don't want to eat it. But, um, I don't usually have issues with that, but I always wash my beans anyway and I wash them th with a colander, so I don't know where I got that from. But let's see, is there anything else that I want to talk about in here tonight? Why not cook dinners by the dozens? Hold on a minute. We were just talking about a freezer meal. Make your own freezer dinners the easy way. Make them by the dozens. It's cheaper. Y'all already know that I do that, but I don't do by the dozens. I just don't think I'd want to do that. Make portions large for Daddy, regular for you, and small for Mary and Johnny. No need to waste food. Label each one. Oh, they're talking about making this personal portions. That's what she's talking about. Fill the freezer yourself when you're in the mood to really, really cook. Then on the days you wash and iron, just pop the meals into the oven. 
It's a good idea. Um, this is the way to do it. I never cook one roast anymore. I always cook two or three, and sometimes even four. After they cool, slice and set apart the meat while you make your gravy. Let the gravy partially cool, too, as you should never put any hot food into your freezer. The TV tray should be scalded if you have no dishwasher. Turn them on the edge in your drainer and let the hot water run over them. For those who have dishwashers, just put the trays in and run through the rinse cycle and leave them in the washer until ready for use. These trays do not have to be dried. Moisture is good when you pack them. Okay. Now you have cooked all the roast, all the beef roast and they are sliced. You will have some pretty slices that look just like the picture books in some small pieces. So why not look professional as long as you are packing them? Put the small pieces in the bottom and lay the pretty pieces on the top. Put the chunks in either the pot for later in another pot for later, pour a big spoon of gravy, and this should be rather thin for freezing on top for this lovely sliced beef. Okay, never thought about doing that before. Um, not the beef or whatever, but now roast costs so much. That's not, I'm, let me find some hamburger meals. <laughs> anyway, um, I just thought I would go over a few of those with y'all today because I didn't really have much that I was doing today that um was going on that I, that I wasn't at my desk I'm sorry I just got all up in your face I was mostly at my desk today because I edited four videos and uploaded four videos okay it went off because I'm a long-winded I had both my computers going at the same time editing and uploading and all of those things and making uh, thumbnails because my planner videos are super easy to edit. It's the ones like this that take me a little bit longer because I have to piece together more than what I am with the others. So, and I also have to choose music and all the other fun things that I really enjoy with this type of video whenever I have music. But with my other videos, with the planner ones, I don't do all of that. It's, it's just super easy. But I know a lot, a lot of you don't watch the planner videos and that's fine. I know that it's not a thing for some people they just don't want to watch those but I do appreciate you for watching what you do watch whatever that might be so I'm gonna go for now I hope you guys did enjoy this the hummus I told Jeff about it he said he'd try it later I did try it you know I tried it and the taste was good I don't know if it tastes like any other hummus I've had before but I mean it's, uh, next time for me, it's going to have to have a half a pepper <laughs> or else two cans of the beans. I do wish that I had gotten it creamier. I think next time I do it, if this is something that Jeff enjoys, I'm going to bring out my regular food processor because I know it would do better um, than what that did. That, that thing I've never enjoyed anyway, but I, it works good for smoothies. But for some things, it just doesn't work well with, and I guess this was one of them. Maybe I should have added more oil. I didn't want it to be too oily. I know that hummus is oily kind of sometimes on the top anyway, but I just didn't want it to be too oily. But the flavor, that everything bagel seasoning, and those onions and garlic, and even the pepper, even though it was a little spicy, um, it was good. I could taste the onion, I could taste the garlic, and it was good and I didn't put too much salt I didn't put too much pepper Jeff might say I didn't put enough pepper he can add more if he wants to but I think it needed to be a little smoother but for the first time I think it turned out okay um, and I will get his opinion and either I will put it on the screen and tell you he liked it or not or I will just tell you tomorrow I hope I can remember if he tastes it tonight whenever he gets home from work he probably will but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you got something motivating from it or something that made you laugh or just something that kept you company. I don't know. <laughs> but I do hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad I got the floors done. I was kind of nervous about using that thing. I don't recommend using that for that because that's not what it's for. But I figured since it was outdoor rugs, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. 
and it worked. I won't probably do it again though. I was nervous the whole time, so I probably won't ever do that again. <laughs> but it worked. I just really wanted to get the stuff up because, you know, whenever it piles up, it just gets annoying and gross and it's on your feet. And it's, I don't wear shoes much. <laughs> and I can feel it on my feet. So, um, Miss Maggie's coming to see me. Maggie, what are you doing? Hey, come here. You want to play? Is that what it is? I think she wants to play. Is that what it is? Huh? What you sniffing? Airtain? See, I'm an old lady. I'm sorry, I called you an old lady. She went, <laughs> She grunts, cause she's an old lady. Are you an old lady? Her just sweet old lady. You want back down? Oh goodness, don't jump. She scares me. She she jumps around. She acts like a puppy, and she's close to 14, but she acts like a puppy. She scares me because she just like jumps out of my arms sometimes, and I'm afraid she's gonna break her break her little big tiny legs. She never has. She's never gotten hurt. Of course, I hold her pretty tight until I get her really close to the floor. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. At least I hope I will. Oh goodness, what in the world? Um, I plan on recording tomorrow, so I'll see you then. I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload. And share this with your friends if you think they would like this crazy lady from Alabama. Um, and don't always believe everything you hear about people from Alabama. Some of us, uh, some of us are not quite as um, crazy as others. Some of us are crazier than others. <laughs> But in a good way. <laughs> I'm crazy in a good way. I'm not like one of those horrible peoples. But anyway, <laughs> I hope I'm not anyway. Please tell me if I am. What you see is what you get. And you can ask the people that have actually met me. <laughs> anyway, I will see you again tomorrow. And I would love for you guys to leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. I'm not doing very well right this minute because I can't keep my mind on what I need to keep it on because the doggies are all hanging out up under my feet. <laughs> They're probably like, where are our beds that were over there? They have two that are over there all the time, three that are back there, and then three in Noah's room. They don't have any excuse about not being comfy. They are spoiled. <laughs> That's okay. We did it. Anyway, I'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.